Not less than a day after I released Clip Path Bay, Bradford Huber came out with this really cool pulsing lightning demo in Webflow using the app. And so I wanna highlight what he built. You can check out his tweet here. And I got excited because this was more complicated than anything I had built with the app, even though I made the app myself. So let's see about rebuilding it and how to do it in Webflow. Hey there, Web Bay. All right, starting from scratch, let's drop in a div block and I'm going to just call this the layout div. This is gonna kind of hold everything. It's gonna have a width of 100% and a min height of 100 dynamic viewport heights. So that's taking up the entire screen for us. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set flex to center just like that on the justify. And let's go ahead, actually, let's drop another div in here. And this is going to be called our bolt holder, I suppose. I can't think of, this is the item that will clip. And I want the height on this one to be 90 viewport height. So it's kind of half, sorry, not half, 90% of our layout. And let's also align that to center. Now let's come and grab the bolt holder. And it needs some width here, I think 40 pixels. We're gonna make these bolts pretty thin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a color. Let's grab the background color and just lighten it up a bit. Uh, this is kind of gonna be the bolt color, the background of it at least. So sure, we'll see how that looks for now. And inside of there, we're going to have the highlight effect. So to do that, let's go ahead and set this position to relative and then we'll drop another div in there. Uh, we'll call this highlight. And this one just needs to be, I don't know, let's call it 200% uh, of the width of this thing. And the height is just going to be something like 10 rem. And then let's go ahead and we'll set its position to be absolute to the top left. And let's just scoot it over negative 50% of the parent container. So it's kind of in the middle now. And then we also want to give it a gradient in the background. So let's give it that gradient there. And the way this is gonna be is pretty much white. And we're going to take this one on the end down to a zero alpha value. And so let's click out of that and let's define a middle value. I'm gonna double click here. And I make this totally white and I want this to be 100%, well, maybe not 100%, how about 90% opacity? Just like that. And then this other stop way over here is also going to be near white, but we're going to set the opacity down to zero there. So now we have this kind of, um, yeah, this kind of like highlight that's showing up there. So I guess I named it decently enough. Let's take bolt holder and set the overflow on that to hidden. And the other thing we need to do is apply a clip path. So let's open up the clip path bay app. I'm just going to go ahead and launch this and I want to select the bolt holder. So I have that selected now and I'm going to come down here. I already have a lightning bolt that's in here and it's going to, man, I don't have quite enough space to show you, but let's just go ahead and clip it and we'll see what we get. So we've clipped and we've got kind of a lightning bolt here, but I even want it thinner than that. So let's come back into the app. We'll come to the lightning and let's go ahead and just kind of start thinning this thing out. So just gonna drag these points and it's gonna kind of normalize itself to the container div. So I think that's good enough. I kind of wanna just give it a little bit of dynamic action. Okay, cool. We clipped it and now we have this kind of shape here. And the way this is gonna work is we're gonna take this highlight and we're gonna use the translate Y, so the transform uh, move here. And we're just gonna push this down the lightning bolt wrapper just like so. So let's remove that now. And what we need to do first is duplicate the bolt holder a bunch of times. So I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six copies. Uh, let's do seven, eight, I think that's cool. And let's get this one here and copy and paste that one. And so this is the last one on the right. I'm just gonna say this is flipped. And we'll come down here to our transform and we'll just go ahead and not scale. I wanna rotate in the Y. 180 degrees, so now that is the other way. And let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I need one more? I think I need one more. Anyways, that's good. Now we can go ahead and work on our interaction. So I'm just gonna open this so that I can access the highlight. I'm gonna come over to the interactions tab and create a page trigger. We will do a page load trigger. So when the page finishes loading, I wanna start an animation and we'll call this cool lightning strike. Okay, and let's go ahead and define our first action. We want to move the transform, like I said, and rather than affect the selected element, we want to affect the class. And let's have this thing start at negative, I think 10 rem, because it was 10 rem tall, right? So this is gonna get it just out of view there for us. And the duration is going to be zero, because this is our starting one. I'm not gonna use set as initial state. I'm just gonna use it just like that with a duration of zero. And then we will come down here and apply our move 
And if we move this to 100 viewport heights, then it should move all the way just out of view. So we can see if we start bringing it up, uh, then we can see it. So I just want it to come all the way out of view. And we'll have that take one second, maybe do like an out court. And I think that's pretty good for that. Uh, we need to find our final keyframe here, which is just gonna move it back to a Y position of negative 10 rem. And this is going to happen instantaneously. So duration of zero. Let's go ahead and see. Now, if we click play, we get that to go through once. So I'm gonna save and I can hit loop and preview. And now we've got that animation. So you can use clip path and just some fancy little tricks with linear gradients and clipping and overflow hidden to get that kind of effect that um, Bradford really made look pretty cool, I think. So it'd be awesome if you get a chance to play around with Clip Path Bay. I think uh, the next thing I wanna look at is actually animating the Clip Path. That's something that's possible with this app. So we'll have a look at maybe doing that with GSAP or something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.